Yo, what is going on guys? Kaleo here today with another video in this video guys. I've got you episode 6 of my Stoke City career mode. Now, if you didn't check the last episode, we did accept an international role with Wales. And as always, we did some other stuff. So definitely go check that out before you watch this one. But anyways, uh, for today's episode, we're just going to be going through everything. We've got youth players, we're still scouting some players. And as well, um, there's some two players for me right now that's on my mind that I might be signing soon. And, um, yeah, so this is what the ladder's looking like. We are on top. Whole City are with us as well. It's pretty interesting. Whole City, I don't, know, I don't know what they've been doing for the past, like, two, three years. And then we have West Brom, Fulham, Huddersfield, Millwall, which is surprising. And, um, yeah, but we have people like Leeds, Derby, Cardiff, Middlesbrough, and, like, Luton and Bristol that are down there on the ladder. But that's obviously because career mode has a bug where they play more of the easier players when you go into the game. So for this match we're versing Brentford. Um, and I think I'm just going to simulate this one. Um, that's what I need to do. That's right. Uh, I need to put my original players back on. We bring on Wimmer and Olivier. Okay, I've been saying it wrong. I said Oliveira. It's uh, Oliveira. Oliveira, I think. Yeah, o Oliveira it is. So Oliveira is going to go back on. Um, I don't know. Should I give anyone a chance? He, I think I'm going to give Edwards a chance. Um, he's been playing pretty well for me, and, uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do just for this game, hopefully we can win the game, obviously, but I don't wanna play it, they're a bit lower on the ladder, and I think we've got some other games, though, that we're gonna focus on more, I uh, got, I think, yeah, Nottingham Forest, and then we got Huddersfield, Swansea, you know, those kind of people there, and, um, yeah, so let's go into simulating this match, hopefully we can win this, remember, it skips straight away to the simulation, Please. Okay. All right. That's pretty good. A one 0 win. Edwards gets a yellow card, and both of our wingers get subbed off. Why the hell is Campbell going to the right wing? Uh, anyways, who cares? Though? That's pretty good. Um, a one 0 win. I really wanted that. I don't know if Brentford were playing their weaker squad, but they are like mid table, so I don't think they would be playing their more weaker squad. Now let's go into training. I think Lindsay's going to hit seventy two rated. He sure does. Edwards is getting close to 70, Campbell's halfway through, and uh, Butland, there we go, he, I think, he might have done it last episode, but ranked up, there was like one more thing he needed to rank up, I'm going to be changing Butland in the next training session to someone else, I think, I don't know who I am going to do it on, but it's going to be someone um, that I can at least help out, look at this, our, our centre mid has six goals, the most goals in the league actually, well, Marriott does now, but before he did, he didn't score a goal though, in that match uh, against Brentford, and we're going up now against Nottingham Forest. Uh, this is, yep, the championship match. And we've got a message from Wales. La la loopsies. Um, let's see where actually Nottingham Forest are. They're, they're ninth on the ladder. Oh, I don't know, man. Like, I kind of want to sim this match and then play the match against Huddersfield. Um, I think, though, it would be good if we can play the match against Huddersfield. And then even Swansea will be an important match. Because those two clubs are some big clubs to verse. And even Swansea, they might be in eighth, but it's still a bigger club. On Longham Forest, we're playing at home there in, like, ninth or something like that. So, I think we're going to do that. For this game, we're going to play our full starting 11. Um, we're going to do that. And Lindsay, honestly, I might slot him into the team soon. But, I don't know. I don't know who's been playing better. Honestly, I think it's Martins Indy that's playing better over Wimmer. Um, I really do think it is, so when it does come to the time where I need to, um, put Lin's day on, when he actually comes stronger and better, um, I think I'm going to get off Wimmer, and I I'm sure he's a new signing from the Bundesliga, if I'm correct. Okay, a 5-0 win, uh, you know, that's just normal, we, Vokes gets a goal, Barnes gets two, and Klukas from the bench gets two, um, but also D in DA didn't have a good match, because he got subbed off 49th minute, uh, yeah, okay, that was a stroll through the park. Um, was not expecting that. And we have a player injured, who is it? Two months. Boy is out for two months. Oh my god, thank god I have backup right backs. Alright, well, Boyer, he's out for two months in a training injury. He has a broken collarbone. Um, so yeah, I think we're going to play... We'll, we'll play Edwards. I want to play Edwards more. But we remember, we have Smith as well as our substitute right back. And um, Ince, we have Ince here. I want to put Ince in. Yeah, I really do want to put Ince in the squad. I just don't know where I would put him right now. I think every 
position we have, we really need, like Lucas, he's a centre mid, he can play maybe a left wing if he really wants to, it's, just, oh man, I don't know, I think we're just going to leave it like that for now, um, but yeah, that's really unfortunate though, um, an injury there, but we're going to play Edwards, I know people might say, oh, play Smith, I don't know, I kind of want to play Edwards, Edwards is just, ah, oh, he's just playing, always, every game he plays pretty well now, so, I want to play Edwards, um, question me as much as you want, anyways, Let's now move on to the match against Huddersfield. So we're going to be playing this match. And it's all, all I didn't pause it in time. We do have training, though. Uh, let's check the news. There's usually stuff in the news. Uh, championship player of the month shortlist. So that's Klukas and Vokes. Am I right? I'm just guessing off my head. I don't know why NDA is not there. But Klukas and Vokes. Am I right? Uh, no, sorry. Barnes and Vokes. Okay, sorry. <laughs> because those are they are two rangers, so... Yeah, that's, uh, that, that was, uh, <laughs> anyways, boys, um, yeah, so Huddersfield now we're versing, uh, they're in fifth, we're playing at home, which is okay, and look what we have here, youth report, so we, when we're back into the game, we're gonna do a youth report, oh, look at that, this guy, he's pretty good, he dropped from 94 to 93, which is okay, uh, Nygaard, oh, I tell you what, man, like, See, he has a potential of 84, but the problem is with this guy, it would be very risky just because he could get a 64 rated. I might bring him him in and just sell him off for money. Um, I know that might sound really dodgy, but uh, that's like a good way, something that's good to do. And Gun uh, Gunderson, he looks promising. Um, he's just like 15. If he goes, if he goes, I reckon under 88 uh, potential. I think we might boot him out. But Olay uh, Bertinson. He has a lot of potential. I think he's ready to be promoted to the youth squad, uh, to, to the main team. So there he is. He's in now. Great job with your program. Thank you, thank you. And now we've got a monthly scouting update of some new players. So 80s, 81s, 75s, 81, 50. Really, nothing really special here. Not even, these guys don't even have that much of a high overall. Um, yeah, not really the best. <laughs> and not at all. Really the best, that guy, he can go. I'm just going to keep some of these guys, though, because you know you can, these guys can move up. Um, that guy can go. I'll probably just leave these three uh, players, just in case they can move up. You don't know. Keep them in. Anyways, now finally, we can get into the match against Huddersfield. I can't wait for this. Uh, I think it's going to be a close one. Huddersfield, they have an alright team in real life, as you all know. I don't know what's happened to Huddersfield in real life. But, um, yeah. Let's get right into it. Oh, and look at that as well. Edwards, without even training him, he's actually gone up to a 70 rated. So that's pretty good. And Wimmer's gone up to 74 rated. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but yeah, let's get right into this. Can he add to the goals he scored already this season? He's already the top scorer in the league. What a match. And it's live. Hi there, everybody. Welcome to the Stoke City Stadium, our featured venue today. Alan Smith is alongside me, Martin Tyler. Our action today comes from the Championship in England. Thank you, Stoke City. All right, boys, let's go right into this. Let's hopefully we can win this one. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. What's going on, man? They just wasted an opportunity, but I don't know what's going on there with my passes. Martin Zindi, what a beautiful tackle. And then like, I don't know what you're doing, cunt. I really don't know what you're doing, you know? I just had a perfect opportunity from a beautiful tackle, and you just made it go all the waste. And now they might score here. Oh, that was really close. Every time. Every time. And they've scored. Like, I don't know what's going on. I've had my whole back line and midfield don't know how to pass. And then just to put more fucking salt on the wound, Bacalo fucks it all up. Or Bracalo, whatever the hell you fucking say his name. Jesus Christ. Let's get it to a Tabo. Pass into a DA. Oh, my. Oh. I really needed that right now. That would have been so good. Is there something wrong with my controller or some shit? I swear there is, man. 
Get it. I pressed pass. The pass didn't work. I pressed pass and the pass didn't work. And then just uh, fucking over and over, my players are there just fucking being so clumsy. Piss off, man. Now we're down to it. What a shit first half, honestly. Is this like exactly like the Charlton match? But it's not exactly like it. Like, then for some reason our left backs and right backs are disappearing and they're losing all their energy. But in this match, no one can pass. And I'm pressing the button to pass. It doesn't work. Oh my god. Let's just try and focus the second half. I'm not going to fucking talk. I'm focusing. The one goal game here either way. Oh my god. That match was so rigged. About more than 50% of my passes, about 80% of my passes, all were fucked. Uh, some questions regarding the match. No, no further questions, thank you. Anyways, now I'm going to get into training. Um, uh, going to change Butland to someone else. I'm not sure who. I might make a Barnes. Uh, that's all I'm making. My, ah, my new CDM. Uh, I'm going to change it to Olav Burtonson. I think that's how you say it. Um... Uh, I don't know what I should give. I'll just probably give him adap uh, adept defending scenarios since he's a CDM. And we get an A, C, 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 and Burtonson for his first one gets an F. Campbell goes up to 69 rated. Uh huh, 69. And, um, yeah. Okay. One more time. I fucking see it's gonna be pissed off. Every fucking year in a career mode, they show this shit. We do not want to see this. Okay, we don't want to see it. Don't put it in my club news. Is my club in there? No. Big fat N-O. So stop showing it. Oh, it's ridiculous. Fuck off, man. Stoke City, back to the drawing board. Shut the fuck up. Well, I think I'm going to not play Edwards. I think I'm going to play uh, Smith. Um, and thinking about it now, uh, I, I want to play... I really want to have Grozav there. And I... But I was all at the same time on in, so I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to still do there. Um, but uh, yeah. Alright, well, we're now done. Just made a few changes. Now we're versing Stoke City. Um, honestly, after that last match, I want to play at the same time. I don't want to play. That was just really, really shit uh, match for me. But we're going to play it anyways. Um, just really disappointing match, as I said before. Uh, but when we do play that match, I want to make some changes. I want to put on, um, Campbell over Vokes. I want to play Lindsay. Uh, and as well, yeah, so Lindsay, we're going to play center back. And, uh, yeah, that's really it. Um, so, where's our new CDM? So this is our new CDM. We can play CDM, CM, 3 star, 3 star. that's okay. There's a lot of stuff we need to work on here. Um, pace is obviously one. Defending, passing... But yeah, this guy he has potential, and hopefully I'm gonna train him up so he can get to you know good rank. And um, yeah, let's get right into this Swansea match. Oh, and sorry, no, we have to do a press conference first. Thank you for joining us. We'll start the questions now. Lindsay's in good form. Will we see more of him today? We sure will. Um. Uh. Yep, rotation is key. 
so I'm rotating him. He's to the max right now, so. You've had a good run so far, putting a, your, you in a great position. So it's pretty much saying, you know, you're in a good position right now on the ladder, just got to have the depth to keep up the pace. Whole squad will need to play a role. I think, of course, be more. Fuck sex the crowd's loud. Have a pair for the next match against your rival, Swansea City. Um. Uh. Yeah, like any other match. Who this day is in the max. I scored more hours nearly at the max. That's all we have time for now. Thank you. Anyways, boys, let's get now into the match. Hopefully, this match is not going to be a disappointment. Obviously, the last match was. A big disappointment, really unfortunate. Okay, so uh, sorry, Swansea has a really nice away kit. Obviously, we can play in a home kit. Anyway, so yeah, let's go right into this. Our main feature today on EA TV two great clubs. It's coming up for you live. Hi there everybody, we're at the Liberty Stadium in Swansea, welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here with Alan Smith, our football is from the EFL Championship in England, it's Swansea City. Alright boys, let's get around to this, I'm just going to go full focus mode, not try to rage and don't talk that much. Oh, I already got pretty close there. Come on Campbell. Oh, so close for our first goal. I'm just try-harding right now. I'll try to go for, obviously, the corner, but... Corners in this game, you're never going to score headers. I've not scored a header. I've not even won or got... I think only one time I've gotten close with one of these corners, but... Uh, yeah. Good save. To Campbell. Turn this back. Three back to Campbell. Take the shot, and it's a goal. Well-deserved goal there, Campbell. You know, you got an opportunity from before. Uh, barely, I think barely saved or barely missed. And then again gets another opportunity. That's a goal. I'm just focusing, guys, because last night I think I just talked too much and then raged too much. Yeah. As the commentator just said, I was concentrating. Well, they were concentrating, but I was actually concentrating. But uh, yeah, now we're leading 1-0. That was really close, though. Anyways, though, it's half time. We're leading 1 0. This is more better of a. What do you call it? Of a start for us. Um, just focusing and. You know, we're actually passing properly for once. So, um, yeah, let's get into the second half. DI? Oh my god. That was so perfect from the start. Just Swansea, they weren't even ready. We were able to get that goal in there. Great passing from Campbell, uh, Brecolo, and in the eye, and I think it was in Bula. It's great stuff there. Now we're leading 2 0. And I tell you what, Swansea should be leading up 1. Definitely should be leading up 1, but anyways, 2 0 lead for now. 1 0. Many thanks, Alan McAnally, keeping us up to date as usual. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. What was that? Are we back at fellas? Are we back to the passing oh, shit again? Look at that. Um. Oh. Oh, we're down. Well, we're still up to one, but they got one goal. Oh, and here we go again. Here we go again with the passing problem, see. What was that pass? Alright, Kluger's gonna come on from Buller. Good save. 
Adams is going to come on over Smith. This Smith guy's not playing. He's really slow. And he's a right back as well. I really don't. He's just way too slow. I'm not a big fan of him right now. I'm just going to make quickly one more substitute. Um, I'm going to bring on Ward over Oliveira. Or Oliveira. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thank God, boys. A 2-1 win. Oh, that was a close one. But, yeah, it was a better match. Better passing. Besides, of course, that one from Butland. Yeah, it worked out. Some questions regarding the match. Lindsay is continuing his hot run of form. How should I show you with his performance today? Um, must keep his momentum, 100%. We need... Oh, yes. Were you concerned when they scored to bring the game within reach? Not really. Yeah, obviously. Oh, that's a cocky thing. Was was there a weight reason to worry? Okay, that's cocky. <laughs> you managed to secure the win today at the moment. It looked like Swansea City would pull level. What's your view on this? Cocky again, the scoreline says it all. Thank you for your time. All right, guys, now let's get into training. Um, I tell you what, I'm very happy with the last match. I'm happy we were able to not lose, um, obviously, that match against, what's its name, Huddersfield, was one to forget. We are still first place to 27 points. I think whole City, they've gotten two draws, if I'm correct. Um, West Brom are catching up Fulham. I think Fulham's our next match. We're probably going to have to play that in the next one. Uh, Butlin decides to save against Swansea. Stoke City on a great run of form. So obvious we are on a great run of form. Um, Barnes grabs September of the month. Player of the award. Let's go, baby. I think that's two months in a row. I think the first month was... Actually, I don't even know who was the first month. There was someone on the first month um, that got it. And now Harvey Barnes. Hey, he gets it. Uh, well deserved there. He's been playing pretty well. Um, and obviously, when we're simming matches, he's just scoring so many goals. Um, so that's pretty good from him. And, uh, yeah, now we're just going to sim through. And we are playing our international match matches. I'm just going to sim all of these. Um, and then get to the match against Fulham and then call it a day. Uh, it's been a pretty long one. I think it's going to be another long episode. It's a 2 1 loss. Uh, Uth grabbed two for them, a penalty, and his own normal goal. Actually, we got an early one from Brook, so that's pretty cool. And um, we do have training here. We'll do it after the match. Uh, Stoke City Board, great work. Great work. So, gain 13.6 million in earnings from shirt sales. Done youth development. It's always good to do these just so you can, like, you know, keep your, like, job. <laughs> and reduce play wages by $56,000 a week. I don't even know how we did that. I think it's from when we were signing um, players. I think that's how we did it. Um... But yeah, now we've got a match against England. Uh, to what? Uh, yeah, it's okay. The team looks fine. Actually, can I know we have Wilson on the team? Can Wilson play? Uh, what's his name? Can he play left? Play right mid? Can Bale? Bale can. Okay, well, Bale. All right, mate, you're gonna go there. And then James, I'm gonna take you off for Wilson. And uh, is anyone else here that we can bring on for anyone? Not really. Uh, okay. Save that, and um, yeah, we'll just simulate this match. Got the full hand match and call it a day versus England in this match. Come on, let's win for the boys. Ah, uh, three north. Well, we're expecting you know England and Germany, one of the probably one of the hardest sides to verse. I take that back. They're not the hardest sides, obviously. Um, especially England, obviously. Well, they're getting there, but uh, yeah. So, we're not able to win any of those matches. Um, of course, now let's do training again. Um, our youth player, Bert Bertinson, he gets an A, goes up to 55 rated. Bricalo gets F. That is not good. He can go F himself. Ah, ah. Oh, and that's right. I want to do one more thing. I wanted to get this guy here. What's his name? Nils Nygaard. I want to promote him to the team. 
Um, because the reason why I want to promote him to the team is so I'm going to, you know, leave him here. When the transfer window starts, hopefully he builds up more quality. By the way, I need to change this. Hopefully he builds up more quality, though. Um, and he will, uh, what you call it? I can sell him off for some good money. But we might need to sell him off straight away because um, I want to get a player. There's a player I have right now. Um, Etzebo, obviously, as you, I don't know if you've seen Etzebo. I think I'm selling off like 12 million. A uh, massive offer for Etzebo, and he's worth like 6 million. So, uh, yeah, you know, taking advantage of that. Anyways, though, it's the end of the video now. Um, make sure to subscribe if you're new. A message from Intel. We'll do that in the next episode. And, uh, yeah, peace.